Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, approvals, approvals, uh, we keep going on that. Um, what I wanted to do today is kind of talk about the notifications within approvals. So with further ado, I am just going to jump right into it. Um, actually, if I go here in as demo and I go into approval uh, user setup right here, you can notice that um, we have email attached to all of the users. So people are notified by email if you want to. And, um, and it's it makes sense to set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and I mean, if click here on notification setup, uh, you can see that the notification is on any new record. Uh, we're going to send an email immediately. So you can actually set this up to have new record approval when it's actually approved. If anything is overdue, etc. And the notification could be uh, a note or email. I'm actually not sure what note is here, but I do know how email works. So I'm going to show you that today. Um, and then it could be instantly or it could be uh, there could be an actual schedule on this. Um, but rather than going in detail in this, I'm actually going to show you how to set up the email because that is the most common. Um, so if I just close out of this, it's really good to actually get into the business manager uh, role center because that has, like I said before, like these links to new things from uh, for 2018 and even 17 additions. So if I go here into services and extensions and service connections, I have uh, something called SMTP mail setup. So this used to be a setup, actually still is a setup screen, but it's been assembled here into one nice screen, all of the setup screens that have to do with service connections. So if I go into just the setup of this one, right now you can see that it's disabled. I want to enable this. If I enable the SMTP uh, server, then it's going to send mail. So actually, if you don't know what SMTP is, it's send mail transfer protocol. Um, I think it's transfer protocol, but I know that the SM send mail. <laughs> so um, here, what we want to do is Find the server who is sending mail. And if you don't know this, ask your system admin. He would know that. Uh, but if you're using Office 365, this becomes really easy. All you have to do is say apply Office 365 server settings and it fills it out for you. And then you just put in the user ID. In this case, demo is the one I use. This is the user that has to authenticate to the uh, sent mail server to allow sending the mail on behalf of the system. So this user has to have rights to send mail. Um, and I just do it like this and hit OK. Now you can see that it's enabled. Um, I could actually go in here and say test email setup. And um, it asks me, do you want to send a test message? I'll just say yes. OK. And then it fires off a test message. All right, so we've set up the SMTP. Um, and I should have gotten uh, an email on this. Uh, so I have here my email box. And here it is, the SMTP test email message, blah, 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 blah. It's all good. OK, now I want to actually do an approval. So I go into the same thing I've been doing so far. Uh, I have Paul here. I actually have a pending approval right here uh, on this order. So what I'm going to do is just uh, cancel that approval and send the approval again and see what happens. So this should fire off at least two emails, one to Paul saying, hey, the order is canceled or the approval is canceled. And then one to uh, Yoko Ono saying, hey, you need to approve this or to demo, depending on how our approval chain is. So I actually have everything go to the demo email box because I only have one email on this machine. 
set up. Um, so we should uh, get some emails coming through in just a minute. Um, it takes usually a few seconds for it to fire out the emails. Um, it goes probably somewhere far away and then comes back again, uh, especially in, if it's in the cloud. So we patiently wait here uh, as we're going through this. Um, let's see. Nothing coming yet. Uh, let's just close this out here. So, um, anyways, I think. Oh, there they are. Um, <laughs> took, what is it, 10 seconds? Anyways, so we have here, hello, nothing. That is actually the demo account uh, showing uh, that, oh, it's because I'm an approval administrator, so I get always updates. Um, so we have something uh, canceled and requires approval. Oh, for Paul McCartney, it's, uh, we've request cancelled and for demo we actually get that it has been cancelled and then that it requires your approval. Okay, so notifications are clearly working and that's um, giving you a list of things that is happening. And there is a link here to the order. If you click this, it'll actually fire up the web client uh, into this order and you can go ahead and approve it there. So if you are like somewhere on the road and you need to approve this order and you have access to the web client, you can basically just click this and approve it there. Um, so this is how we set up the uh, email and uh, I hope this was useful to you and we keep rocking and rolling on the approvals for the next video. Thank you.